Okay, as you can see, um, the whole generals are as finished as I'm taking them before I get them dipped. Uh, I have to say, I've enjoyed painting these. They're very nice to paint. Indeed, I was a bit concerned about the fact that uh, initially, because um, the skin is so brown, uh, I was uh, concerned about differentiation between the wooden parts but I used weathered wood to, to show that you know they've got wood here uh, and it's not part of the skin and stuff so uh, well, JJ will be proud of me there for getting wood and I've done it there as well so weathered wood it's a nice colour from uh, the Panzer 80s range so yeah there we go uh, they are done as far as I'm doing them. Uh, they will be dipped. He's a big chap isn't he? Um, so yeah that's that's them and I've done a bit on these. Uh, they all look as though they're wearing toupees. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes they all look a bit Trump like with their yellow toupees on their heads but uh, at the moment they're the next in. I should probably start these next week. Uh, I'll prime them over the weekend, but uh, I'll probably get them underway next week. Okay, well, uh, I suppose now I better be asking a question. Okay, right then, today's question is uh, What's your favourite fictional universe, and what is it about this setting that really motivates you? Well, um, my, as I've said before, the universe that I looked forward to as all the books were coming out, and I have done for ooh, since the late, well, the very early 90s, is Ian M. Banks's The Culture. Uh, unfortunately, um, Ian M. Banks died uh, over a year ago now, a couple of years ago, uh, of cancer, which is really sad because the world lost a brilliant, uh, brilliant and imaginative writer both of science fiction and fiction in general, because uh, he wrote as Ian Banks um, in like sort of fiction fiction, but Ian M. Banks in science fiction. Um, and the culture universe is phenomenal. It's brilliant. Um, obviously, there's many levels to it of different sort of ideas and philosophies and all that sort of stuff that, you, that, that are discussed. Um, but yeah, in essence, it's a it's a universe in which artificial intelligence reigns supreme, um, but not in a bad way. The art, the AIs, uh, or the ships as they're called, um, run the place. They do everything. Everything everything is taken care of, and behind the scenes, they're plotting and conniving, and they're all sort of doing things and so and, and some of them are mad some of them are completely insane and do weird things like turn themselves into dolphins and all sorts of stuff um but that madness is uh, is it, that that sort of like yeah right sort of attitude is um tempered by the fact that these that that humanity or the humans so, Jesus Christ <sighs> Honestly, I'm even hassled. These, this is I just, just a quick aside, right? I've tried to do this four times now, and every time I've tried, at some point, the phone's gone, pinging on the computer, phones, the mobile's pinging, so it's just driving me mad, so I'm ignoring it all now. Anyway, right. What did I say again? Um. Yeah, humanity sort of exists as well, and the ships or the AIs sort of um, look over and overwatch humanity as if they're sort of like a very patient parent, and they sort of uh, they don't chastise but they guide, um, and they indulge and they do all these weird things, wonderful things for the population, and then we have a little unit called uh, Special Circumstances, and they interfere with stuff they're not supposed to but they do so they'll go and find um you know a lesser developed civilization and interfere 
Uh, in some cases, there, there, there are sort of civilizations that are not as uh, that are not that, that are not less evolved. They're quite high, uh, and they still go and have a medal. And uh, sort of, you know, the, the sort of very the culture is very sort of um, right. It's never wrong. The culture's ideas are always right, and they always know what's best, even when they don't know what's best. And they meddle and they put all sorts of stuff. And that's what the stories are about. That's what the, the books are about. Is how they've interfered with stuff and the results of these interferences, and uh, or how somebody else is interfering with something, and uh, how they have to deal with it. And it, it's amusing and uh, interesting, and it's it's just a brilliant space opera. It's just phenomenal, phenomenal writing. Um, so yeah, it has to be the culture. It's it's, it's the one sort of universe that I've lived in for uh, quite a many decades of my life, or two decades and a bit. And um, it's great, but it's really sad that he's uh, that he's died. Um, you know, uh, it's a great loss to science fiction and um, fiction in general. But there you go. These things happen. Anyway, on that sad note, I will uh, let you go. And I'll see you next time. And hopefully the phone will stop ringing and I can carry on ignoring everything and do some painting. All right. Bye. <laughs>